Welcome back from the Wells Fargo Center, taking the place of Tom Goodhines right now. This good-looking young man is a coach. It's Matt Rule, head coach of the Temple Owls, getting ready to go into his third full season. And, Matt, I know it's a very exciting time of the year for you, but you're taking in some fast-paced arena football. What do you think about this game? It's unbelievable. I mean, what a great uh, opportunity to see people out here hitting, see the ball fly around. You know, it's my first time, and I'm going to be a regular. This is fantastic. The Temple Owls coming off a 6-6 six and six season. You're trying to take a step further this year, Matt. I know you have some very talented athletes on that squad. Yeah, we're excited. I mean, we have a great schedule. Penn State and Notre Dame both coming here, and, and we're right, you know, looking forward to building on what we did last year. So, P.J. Walker, our quarterback, returns, and we're excited about the season. Matt, stick with us and watch a little arena ball for a couple of minutes here in the opening seconds of the second half here from Philadelphia. The sole on top of New Orleans. That's Duvall on the return, off the netting, finding some room to the right out near midfield before he's taken down. Hollis, another key tackle, had that interception near the end of the first half. Temple Owls with media day on Monday, Matt, and then uh, the camp really begins in earnest on Tuesday. For some folks that don't know, you played, you grew up in the shadow of Beaver Stadium and then played some college ball there for Joe Pop. Yeah, I was blessed to have a chance to go uh, be a player at Penn State, Penn State, so it's exciting for me to have a chance to, you know, go back and play, you know, have them come here and play them again. So, What's the mindset as you get ready for camp? You know, I think it's just to, to build that mindset, build that competitive championship mindset that every team needs. Does it change year to year? I mean, I know, I'm sure depending on the, the level of, of your team, I guess it changes your perception, but does the actual preparation process change much? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you look at each team as a, as a new team and a separate entity. So, you know, last year we had, you know, four seniors. This year we have 27, excuse me, 20 <laughs> seniors. So, you know, this year, you know, we're going to take a different approach. They're a little bit older and, and try to go from being a 6-6 six and six team to a championship team. New Orleans on the field, Matt. Uh, they get the ball first to start here. Down a couple of scores to the soul. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed defensive stops are not the norm here. They're almost like turnovers. And the Soul's been able to take advantage to build this lead so far. I've been really impressed with the, you know, the Soul's defensive line as well. I think they've, they've been able to get some pressure and really uh, get to the quarterback at times. Kennedy is the quarterback, and he'll run a little bit, and this time just throws it down before he's hit by Justin Lawrence. We're just underway in the second half with Matt Rule, the head football coach at Temple University, and Joe DeCamera. Well, Lou, and we've talked about this a lot in the first half. I mean, you know, the reality is, again, New Orleans offense is not very good. Obviously, Adam Kennedy, pretty scattershot back there. But, you know, when you look at that play as it develops, I mean, the New Orleans wide receivers, Matt, I mean, you saw that. The, the, the receivers not only aren't open, but there, there was very little initiative to try to get open. It's hard to ask a quarterback to function at a high level when, when guys aren't uh, doing, you know, doing their job and doing it well. No matter what form of football that you're playing. As Kennedy faces third down and long, only 38% on the season. Good defensive play by the Soul. That'll bring up a fourth down and a chance for a defensive stop by the Soul. So, Matt, what's the opening game? We're uh, home here at the link, uh, you know, August 5th against Penn State. Wow, wow. Sellout, I guess. Uh, place I'm expecting it, and I'm expecting to be, you know, have a great Temple Owl crowd and all of Philadelphia to be there to see a great game. What mixed emotions for a guy that played on an undefeated Penn State uh, team yourself to be taking on your alma mater, huh? Uh, you know, at, at this point, I want to win more than anything. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you know, I, I loved my time there, but... Uh, but, you know, these kids we have here are great, and I would love for them to have a win like that. Well, you know, Joe and I are uh, hometowners, and we want to see the Temple Owls do well. We appreciate uh, the struggles and the great run you've had there. 